okay, what now? Who's ethnographer? I hardly know her. <laughs> oh, you mean what is ethnography? Gotcha. Yeah, ethnography is a branch of anthropology and it's where research examines cultural behaviors and patterns of social groups. <laughs> so basically data is collected through observations and then these observations are used to draw conclusions about how individuals and societies function. Yeah, honestly, my favorite ethnographer is Hailey Bieber because she fully immerses herself into Selena's lifestyle. So to better understand ethnography, let's go through some of the major theories. The first one is ideational. So with ideational theory, researchers view the world from the perspective of its mental origins. You didn't have to cut me off. Basically, thoughts, ideas, belief systems, you get it. The second one is materialist and it's for the material girls. But no, researchers view the world from observational patterns. And that's like economic, environmental, modes of production. And the last one is cognitive theory, which means that researchers can describe what people think by listening to what they say. Which kind of seems obvious, right? Like, just listen to me. <laughs> All right, now we move on to what kind of tools are in each ethnographer's bag so that they can do their research. All right, so the first one, culture. Culture is so intrinsically linked with ethnography because that's what ethnography is, the study of cultures and people. So that's necessary. Aww. All right, let's see what else we have in here. Oh, look at that, symbols. Symbols are important because they could tell ethnographers a lot about a culture. What does that culture value? What's important to them? For example, in the culture of Jasmine, my phone is an important symbol because I like love it so much. <laughs> All right, this one's a good one. Next, we have a holistic perspective. Having a holistic perspective is V important for ethnographers because the whole goal of the research is to get as much of a whole picture of the culture they can possibly get. Now, this can be differentiated if an ethnographer is doing research on a micro or macro level, meaning micro might look at one very specific thing within a very specific culture, or they're just looking at the culture in its entirety. But regardless, the holistic perspective is an aspiration for all ethnographers. You want to present as much of the story as you possibly can to the viewer. And it's like super important to do that because you want people to really understand the story of what you're researching. Like, duh. This one's a good one too. Non-judgmental. <laughs> Obviously, it's important for ethnographers not to be judgmental of the people or things they're observing because that can complicate the research. Obviously, there's always gonna be a bias because when you research, you still bring who you are as a person to the table and your lived experiences, yada, yada, yada. But when you're being judgmental, you're saying that one culture is superior to another. And that's just like gross. <laughs> And here are some of my hot tips. <laughs> hot. One, when you're doing your field work, observe, ask simple yet insightful questions, and write down what you hear and see. Another hot tip is that your analysis may differ from your colleagues, but your descriptions and observations should be similar. So like if you're observing in a classroom, your observations of that classroom should be pretty close to what your colleagues have also observed. And my last hot tip is to remember that a holistic perspective is aspirational. You're not gonna get the whole picture because that's like impossible, but you should try as hard as you can to present a holistic overview of what you're researching. And that will also just limit stereotypes that could possibly arise from having a limited perspective with your research. Ew. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed our little talky talk about ethnography. And if you have any questions, just like hit up my phone. My number is... All right, TTYL, love you.